sun, moon, and stars into it. Reading signs and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there <clears throat> like a swim where. Now, you know, I got to remind people I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try to do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend somebody's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Seven, out. Okay. Take what's for you and leave the rest. Somebody Hold in on. your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a passed over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading will be in the description box below. Please be advised someone is using my picture and or what looks like my channel name. Okay, so make sure that the name is highlighted uh, when conversing with me because there will be somebody trying to direct you to a different platform to scam you. My son coming in and out. He wasn't doing this until I turned on the camera, y'all. Let's see how this go. We have a lot of passion on the board. It looks like uh, a lot of masculine energy. People trying to keep secrets, but, you know, it's that time, right, right for the truth to come out. All right. The truth about somebody raging war on you, which they are really raging war on themselves. We definitely have someone stepping into their calling here after something get exposed. Now, before I turned on the camera, I heard playing with fire. OK, and then I was shown a scene and I believe that is J-Lo. And it was an old school movie. It was really weird. It came out when I was like a child or something. But it, it, I, what I remember is like it was like a virtual world or something. And the, and the little figure had like little pins in his head or something like that. And it was basically what I gathered from it was pain, pain, like uh, someone has a high endurance for pain. OK, this may be something that was unexpected by your adversary or your rival. We have clouds. Now, somebody may be using Mary J to calm their nerves here. OK, somebody may have been under some sort of illusion. OK, they weren't able to see clear. Some of you, you may be in a high traffic area where there's a lot of smog, a lot of clouds or whatever. OK, I'm hearing when the dust clears, when the dust clears. Some of you may feel like you in the wild, wild west. For some of you, you may be in the wild, wild west. All right. But this is about observing your environment. OK, some of you, you have a golden aura. OK, I don't know why her he seeking me missile. All right. Some of you <laughs> is you in heat. <laughs> I'm just trying to ask you real quick. This is about confirmation and confirming something. Some of you, you may have came across across a wishbone. You could be doing affirmations. I'm here. Make a wish. Make a wish. I did a reading where it said. In that reading, um, you're being granted the title of it. You're being granted one wish. What will it be? Some of y'all, y'all need to check that reading out. Don't necessarily judge a reading by the title. Okay. A multidimensional. Somebody could be 56. Somebody could have been born in 56 or 65. Take it how it resonates. Somebody could be 17. You could have been in a cycle for 17 years of marriage. You could have a 17 year old. Okay. So some of you, you need to speak something into existence and confirm it and wait for signs. Okay. Some of you, you could be bird whispers. You could be cat whispers or something like that. You may have a black cat or some sort of cat like energy around you, or you may be very agile. Okay. You may be able to, you may be able to be able to wiggle out of situations. Okay. You know, that energy of nine lies like Bassett. Yeah. So we have Aries, Scorpionic energy, Capricorn, Leo, 
in the building. Clouds is an indication of uh, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, we got observation. This is giving me Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No, uh, really not no water element. Okay, not yet. This is all air. I heard Earth, Wind, and Fire. Child, let's go. Why is Saturn truth here? Mm, mm, mm. Somebody looking at you side eye. They side eye. <laughs> Yeah, they don't know the ledge. With knowledge being here, somebody could be 34, 43, okay? Seven could be significant. Oh, we got divine masculine in the building, all right? So this could be about your divine counterpart or this could be about you, DM, if you are watching. You may be searching for some knowledge here, okay? Some of you, you are reading books. You could be writing a book, okay? For some of you, you may be doing a thesis or something, okay? If you are in college or something like that, we have gratitude. Have an attitude of gratitude. Some of you, you are manifesting something or something is being illuminated. So it came out on the fence. Somebody could be... 53 is what I'm getting, or 35. Again, you, you may be seeing 88, okay? Somebody could have been born in 88. You may have an eight-year-old. So it's telling me it's on the fence. Somebody's trying to hide something, okay? This person could be using candle magic, okay? Or something is being illuminated with Saturn truth being here, all right? So this is, Saturn is about worldly things, right? So it could be, materialism it could be travel it could be recognition okay fame and fortune is also what i'm getting why is aura here you know that could be aquarius energy as well somebody may be feeling restricted or they were in the past because they may have had an anger issue or a control issue or some sort of issue we have growth, Sagittarius energy, divinity. Uh huh. And what is this here? Shift. Okay, so there's a shift taking place. I'm hearing fourth, fourth, or fifth. We got the nature spares. That's been coming out a lot lately. Somebody could be 47. Somebody could have been born in 74. Nine could be significant. Six. As well as 12, okay? December, something could be manifested in December. Nature Spirits is giving me hocus pocus, all right? Some of you, you may be in nature and you may be realizing that the trees are alive. For those that are vegan, the trees are alive. <laughs> we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the building and we got home. So this is definitely about your stability or somebody in your environment. I'm hearing patience as I look at this. 41 could be significant, 14. Oh, yeah, patience, okay? So somebody's being weighed with truth being here. And, and I'm getting it's time for the truth to be revealed, possibly about someone working with nature spirits. And we have release here. So this is telling me this is a, a shaman practice. Somebody is a spell breaker. Somebody has some sacred knowledge. You may be researching that sacred knowledge is also what I'm getting collective. Somebody could be doing background checks on you or trying to look up your lineage or you could be doing this. OK, I'm also hearing mystic. Somebody was questioning your divinity or trying to block off your divine connection. What is this? We got the hangman in reverse. OK, we in that we getting that water energy. Pisces could be significant cancer. I'm also hearing Virgo, all right? Um, scorpionic energy is already here. Well, we do have water with Scorpio, my bad, okay? This is giving me aggression no matter what sign you are, okay? Somebody's self-centered, okay? Somebody is in this victim mentality, okay? Because they were trying to sacrifice you or wanting you to bend down to their, their will. This is a bully. This person is holding on or holding back something, why is gratitude here? And here we have it. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You do not have to be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius to be in the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is somebody that's very attractive, okay? They're usually um, wholehearted, hard felt, okay? People are attracted to this person. They usually have a very magnetic energy, 
gorgeous or handsome. Okay, this is somebody that's very energetic. They may make you laugh a lot. All right, so I feel like somebody was judging a book by its cover here with the Queen of Wands. All right. This is somebody that's very confident, but with the Queen of Wands sitting here next to this um, fire here, you know, the, the candle, this is telling me that this could be someone that participates in spell work. And I'm not saying all Queen of Wands participate in spell work. What I'm saying is that that's definitely what's happening here in this situation. This is someone that does not operate from the heart space, okay? This is somebody that's strictly on all gas, no brakes, okay? This person is having to pay the cost to be the boss with uh, Five of Pentacles being here. This is somebody that has a lot of physical debt, spiritual debt, okay? This person feels like they are... Locked out of divinity. This person may worship materialistic things or they may even deal with demonic forces. This person is having some sort of nightmares or headaches. Interesting how we have the three of swords here. And this person is holding their head. It looks like a female. And then we have the male holding their head. So this could be a couple. This could be somebody inflicting some sort of pain on someone using sorcery. Why is Leo here? Leo talks about the heart space, so this could be having to do with someone's family. This could be having to do with someone's creativity, their ability to create children or something or a project. Oh, yeah. Six of Swords. So somebody's operating out of their heart space. This is an individual that's choosing to, um, you know, use their heart over their head. OK, after being in their hair with Saturn truth being here, this person had a choice with the two of cups. OK, possibly a choice to stay or to walk away. This could be a choice between two lovers or a choice between two uh, jobs. OK. Why is mix mystical here? Somebody. Mm, this could be a choice in marriage. It came out a choice in marriage. So somebody was trapped in some sort of illusion in the past. They may have had or felt that they had to choose between you and the family, you and a job or something like that. This person was trying to divert a tower moment. OK, so <clears throat> this is giving me the energy of someone's spirit guides. OK, trying to, you know. Bring this tower down and then you have two individuals trying to hold it up. All right. This could be a karmic couple. OK, they may feel like they have a lot to lose. This queen of wands may be someone that's very manipulative. OK. As I look down at Mars, I, I feel like somebody lost a fight. OK, somebody lost a fight. This person may have been trying to bend your will. They wanted you to submit divinity. Why is this here? Somebody's realize that someone's aura is not quite great. This person may be traveling here or they went through some sort of period of growth. It could be a Saturn return. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about work. This could be working on body, mind, and spirit, body, mind, and soul. Your soul's calling, your soul's urge. This is what this is giving me with this aura shift being here in the Eight of Pentacles. This is about somebody's work traveling. I'm hearing Enoch. Okay, some of you, you may be searching through the lost books. Okay, some of you, you may be, I'm hearing parallel. Some of you, you may be researching parallel universes. We got the star card in reverse. So somebody was either dealing with somebody that was very materialistic or someone's wishes and dreams didn't come true. I feel like this person may be arrogant. This person may have some sort of is illness, whether if it's physical illness or mental illness. OK. And this came out reverse. Yeah. Somebody didn't get their wishes fulfilled with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody may have been trying to manifest a pregnancy. OK. Somebody feels let down because something didn't take here. This person was possibly trying to manifest a business or again, I feel like this person was trying to manifest a child. OK, somebody feels disappointed. Somebody could have been turned down. Also, somebody feels someone didn't grow. 
they feel like this person is a burden or somebody's work is a burden. Yeah. This King of Pentacles. They may feel like there's no growth in the situation. We got the growth card, which is Sagittarius energy for me. Clarifying it, clarifying it with the wheel card, more Sagittarius energy. So this is a faded situation for somebody. We're talking about this person taking accountability or responsibility for how they show up in the planet. Okay. This person, this King of Pentacles may feel like this person plays victim too much. All right. They may have been mesmerized by this person's beauty or this person's illusion, but now they see it as a burden. OK, this person was possibly managing things well. But this person, they may have stuck in um, in this situation because they felt like this person was wish fulfillment. OK, they may have felt at one time that this person was their equal with the two of cups here and the six of cups. There was a soul tie, a soul connection, possibly um, a past life connection. OK, but I did hear that in the past life, this person was a mystic or they were into some sort of sorcery and they may have put this person in some sort of stronghold in the past also. So with the wheel card being here, this is a repeated cycle. Why is affirmations here? Somebody's trying to keep keep someone from moving forward and it came out. <laughs> They're trying to keep somebody from moving forward with a Knight of Pentacles reverse. They may have wanted this person to be codependent on them. OK, they could have easily been doing work on someone's finances here. And this is something that was happening in secret with the moon card. OK, and the hermit card as well. Somebody, they wanted somebody to feel stuck. Somebody has abandonment issues. Yeah, somebody, yeah. This person, somebody's trying to make sense out of a situation that makes no sense because sometimes people just do things because they can. Why is Omen here? We got the knave of swords. So somebody came through and spoke some sort of truth here. Okay. Or someone wants to speak a truth to this nine of pentacle in, uh, energy, whether it's male or female. They want to come through and give some sort of clarity. Somebody may have been um, cut off. Okay. You got the Anubis card, death card, scorpionic energy in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Somebody feels stagnant, okay? This person feels stuck. So this person is not, somebody's not paying attention to the omens here. We got the Knight of Cups. They may want this Knight of Cups energy to be stuck in a lower vibration. They don't want this person to move forward or to gain some sort of clarity because, yeah. They don't want somebody to gain clarity, possibly about an empress. <clears throat> and then we have the Queen of Swords um, and the Empress. It, it looks like a standoff here. So this is about somebody's work. Somebody was juggling. They wanted this Empress to juggle. Okay. This could be someone's wife or husband that wanted somebody to be trapped or they tried to trap this person. Somebody's going to gain some sort of clarity about that. All right. I feel like you have your boundaries up or they were trying to invade your personal space. Take it out of resonate shift. Why is this here? Clarity. So somebody gained some sort of knowledge. This person may want to come through and create something with you. I believe the queen, I mean, the, the ace of swords and the ace of wands came out. Somebody's very attracted, sexually attracted, not only physically attracted to you collective. They are. They're, this is someone that's in, uh, attracted to intellect, okay? So this could be a sapiosexual for some of you, or you are. Yeah, king of pentacles. This person wants to offer you something, some sort of stability. But don't get me wrong. Somebody's attracted to you. If you have conversations with this person, they may get a boing, boing. Okay? <laughs> I'm hearing it's hard to do. It's hard to do. I, 
All right. For some of you, you may work with this person or again, this person wants to work with you. They want to build a home with you. They want to build a foundation with you. And somebody's ex is very about that. They don't want to see you take a seat on the throne that is appointed to you is what I'm getting. Collective. Let's go. Hey, man, reverse. Why is this here? Somebody's a traitor. Y'all already know, for those of you that's been here for a while, this, if you're not a karmic, you're a business owner and you're a female. But you could be a male business owner, but somebody got demoted in this situation. Somebody could have lost a business. This person is operating under an anonymous account. Or they're pretending to be somebody's masculine, somebody's feminine, okay? Or, or anyone else, okay? We got hides behind a username, okay? Or a costume, a mask, pretends to be someone else. So this, may, this person may have been playing monkey in the middle. This person wanted to trap you up, okay? Yeah, they wanted to trap you up. You up. This person felt like they 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 raged a war on you. They wanted you to bow down or something. So we got the storm is over now. As well as similar charts are dealing with the same sign. This person is stuck in a repetitive cycle. For some of you, this person could be into divination. They could use a pendulum or you may need to use a pendulum. If you do not have your birth chart, look in the description box below. There's a link where you can copy and paste that into your browser and you can receive a free birth chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. In that description box, you're also going to see how to get in contact with me collective because I'm not going to reach out to you. I'm not going to ask you for no donations or none of that. OK, if someone gets in your comment, OK, and offer you uh, offer you you a reading, it's not me. If you get someone that, you know, after you comment, they come and try to subscribe to your platform is so they can watch you block that person. This is somebody that's very salty. For some of you, this is just somebody raging war on divine beings. They have a parasite is what I'm getting collective. They have a parasite, an entity attachment. They don't know why they do what they do. They operate from their subconscious. Now, this is someone that was wishing you be unalive so they could take your place. They was using candle magic to do so. We got the Santa Marete card. Y'all know what that is. If you don't know, look it up. Yeah. This person, this I, I was picking up on the energy of somebody that's just not thankful. Okay, this person's not thankful for nothing. In one of my readings, I said they were dealing with someone that was giving them their heart. This person was giving them their heart, body, mind, and soul. They cut out their heart. We seen that three of swords. They cut out the heart, and this person said, where the arteries? I want the ventricles, okay? I want the blood. I want I want it all. Brand new sock, socks and drawers. We got somebody that was at a crossroads here. They stayed attached to this individual. And so now they started receiving some sort of karma because this person wasn't trusting in the divine plan. I'm hearing martyrdom. They was martyring themselves for this person. For this queen of wands, why? I don't know. This person may be experiencing bad health, financial health. Okay. Or they wanted you. They wanted you to be in debt, poverty. They just didn't want you around. Five of pentacles. Why is this here? This person may have put a poverty curse on you. Now, now it's on their ass. People are moving away. They can't get no support. Okay. Some people may have even feared this, this individual, this queen of wands. You could be a Leo. They could be a Leo. Okay. Or this is just a, a situation where somebody, this is a family member of yours or theirs. We got clear empath, the ability to sense emotions, thoughts, ailments, and extrasensory capabilities. Now, what is that telling me? That's telling me. That in the past, you got hit with the he-he, he-he-how, 
Okay, somebody may have tried to form some sort of uh, court to you. When they form that court to you, they also did an unalive ritual. Okay, so when you you may feel like it's you that is having these symptoms, but what are, what you're picking up on is this person, this Queen of Wands energy, right? Because they they was moving too quick. When that unalive ritual didn't work, they went, you know, how I got it was they formed a, a cord on you, a binding, because this person was trying to mimic you, trying to energy harvest off of you. When you became aware of that, this person tried to unalive you or unalive a situation, okay? They they tried to put an ending to your finances, to your health. They tried to put a poverty curse on you, all right? If you have a platform, <laughs> this will be the person that's thumbs down in your videos. But what they're doing is they're feeding the energy. So you're picking up this per picking up on this person more and more and more. For some of you, you'll know that this person been to your platform because your equipment will start going off. Okay, this is somebody that does energy work. Y'all remember my 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 stuff used to cut off like. <clears throat> <clears throat> See, you pay attention. Six of six of swords. Why is this here? This is somebody that kept coming back. Kept com what I'm getting is they kept going back and doing the same incantation that they were doing in the past, trying to wear you down. And I'm hearing your immune system. This person is having out of body experiences. Okay, this person is freaking out. They ain't getting no more zaddy ping. OK, they got them, but they couldn't keep them because now this person has become immune to whatever sorcery. OK, whatever booty oil, whatever uh, witchcraft, bitchcraft, who do, who knew, whatever they using. All right. We have time to reevaluate your circle. Consider the fact you don't feel comfortable having sex with stupid people will, will make you stupid. OK, so. For some of you, this person may have got online and tried to slander you. They may, oh yeah, they may have said, this person don't want to be with me. Look how attractive I am. They must be gay. Yeah, that's what this person did. They was trying to cause a tower moment in this person's finance, defecate on their character. <laughs> Heard in their mouth. <laughs> Damn, this is, we got down for whatever. Entity attachment, codependent. We'll leave when time gets hard. Fair weather friend. For some of you, this person was trying to get you locked up in a mental institution or in the behind bars. Okay. This person went as far as to say that you were sleeping for you males, that you were sleeping with your boys because you didn't want to be around it no more. <laughs> now, that's not for everybody because for some of you, you was sleeping around, but I'm just going to keep on moving. We got somebody that got a crown chakra blockages. Yeah, they're not able to move past this toxic cycle, this toxic belief system. This person needs to change their ways, change their thinking. Yeah, they're having to suffer some repercussions from whatever they did, especially if they were trying to block off your crown chakra, okay? Uh, yeah, definitely. They wanted you to be unstable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person was jealous and envious. You couldn't tell though. You can't this per this this person is jealous of the way you think. If you have a platform or if you have a business, this is somebody leaving bad reviews. Okay, they possibly I'm hearing a dummy account. Somebody operates off a dummy account. For some of you, this person haven't even used your services, but they're they're trying to mimic someone else. Crown chakra block. Why is this here? This is somebody that watches collective readings. They could have been doing this. Damn. I looked at the card. You see, it say three hundred sixty, <laughs> three hundred and sixty five. Right. But. I'm hearing 565. So this person may have been doing this almost two years, two years, three years trying to do that. Yeah. 
They didn't want you to they didn't want you to break some sort of cord or break this person's cord. They wanted people to move away from you, but I feel like more people, the right people started gravitating towards you, your so your your true soul tribe. They was trying to call in a storm. They they may have had someone that they were dealing with trapped up. I'm here in a false case. Two of Cups, why is this here? Oh, it's written all over your face. So now <clears throat> Some of you, you may ask, how is this person able to do this to cause this illusion? Well, this person had built up Dharma from their ancestors because someone in their lineage is actually a light worker or they did a lot of service. For some of you, this person may have a, a, a grandparent or an elder that was very active in the community, a community figure. They, shit, I heard Guinness Book of World Records or something. They, they may even have a plaque or something in their, their hometown. Okay, this person that does this type of spell work. Okay, so they had to, uh, they was working on uh, their ancestors good energy so they was able to to manifest and to cause these different endings this is someone that had a lot of spiritual protection whoever they have as a guardian or yeah a guardian or tribe members they was giving this person chance at the chance at the chance at the chance right but this person burnt that all up they started working they they started doing spell work like this person may be what you call a gray witch OK, this queen of wands, they're a great witch in a sense that this may be somebody that was they may operate under the guise that they are a healer. So they may have healed a few people, but then they started working on unalive um, rituals. OK, and so what I'm trying to, to, to say to you, collective, is this person started operating out of a lower vibrational energy. OK, and so whatever deities, entities, pantheons, netarus that they were working with, they started manifesting from that lower vibrational space. So they didn't burnt up their dharma. When this person comes back, OK, they may even be in a five of pentacles energy. All right. And I'm hearing they're not going to be able to figure why, figure out why. Because it's a lesson that this person has to learn. This may be somebody that's privileged. They have entitlement issues, possibly because of the way they look or they live in off of their name. OK, this may even be someone that was in an arranged marriage. OK, or, or something like that. They could live in a small town or something. We got the cherry bomb down the street. I'm the girl next door. I'm the fox you've been waiting for. The runaways. Somebody could have been a runaway or a latchkey kid. OK, somebody may have been sleeping with somebody younger. I believe that came out or frolicking. I don't know why frolicking with somebody that lives in the neighborhood. OK, somebody that could possibly be a soulmate. But I'm hearing this person is way too young, way too young. So it's not it's not actually wish fulfillment with the star card being here. Is not so this person may have turned down or gotten turned down. OK, <laughs> all right. This is what I'm getting. This queen of wands could be a wife or a mother, a business owner. This queen of wands could be a male, too, but I'm picking up on female energy because the empress card here. This is someone that may have grew up the prettiest girl. In the class or in the community. Well, the prettiest girl's getting old now. Okay? There may have been someone that they were getting their Mary J from that may be younger that this Queen of Wands is attracted to. This person was like, mm mm. <laughs> For some of you, this person may know whoever this Queen of Wands is dealing with. Take it how I ran up. Uh, damn, run away. I don't know why that came out, but somebody was warned. Here. This could be somebody that's a swinger. Somebody may have tried to backdoor someone here and they got turned down. Somebody, somebody got their ego checked and I'm hearing it's a female. We got learn from your, 
learn from your experiences to reclaim your peace of mind, exhausted and or feeling overwhelmed by somebody's bad choices. Okay? Somebody feels stuck in an illusion. I'm telling you, for some of you, this is a marriage. And that, that's may, that may be... Somebody could have had a runaway... What they used to call that? A runaway marriage? Or somebody ran away and got married? Or somebody ran away from a marriage? Well, why is the fallen star here? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing they sacrificed their divinity trying to sacrifice... A star seed, an earth angel, a elect one, a chosen one, a throne. Somebody that outranks them. For some of you, you have you have the coverage of this person's ancestors. And I'm hearing uh, clearly a historical figure. So some of you, you're going to know exactly who this person is. Because they're somebody that's very popular or well known in their community. Or their relatives is, their ancestors, could be a grandparent. We got an illusion. Somebody's in a loveless relationship, an unrequited love. This commitment is on the fence here. Somebody does not want to back back. No take backs. This is somebody that possibly could have been a light worker in the past, or they had an opportunity to be a light worker, but they didn't want to release stagnant energy. For some of you, this person turned down an offer with a soulmate. I'm hearing because that per they felt like that person didn't have enough influence or money. Take it how it resonates. Ace of Cups. Somebody may have gotten pregnant and terminated a pregnancy because they were sleeping around outside of their marriage. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Or they wanted someone to terminate a pregnancy? Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Sacrificial love. Do what you want. Why you always come around bad news? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody, look. Somebody was trying to, there was a, there was a throttle for some of you here. Okay. There was a throttle. This has given me somebody, you know how, well, some of y'all, y'all don't, but you know how women will sacrifice their love. You know, yeah, we can have a three way, four way, five way, six way, as long as I'm involved type of energy. Somebody backdoored that ass. Okay. Somebody got backdoor. Somebody could have possibly called an STD. Sexually transmitted disease or sexually transmitted demon. There was an offer that was rejected. <laughs> Man, somebody frustrated. They like, uh, uh. I'm hearing this person is being drained. Like it's enough is enough. Okay, enough is enough. Somebody, for some of you, these are swingers. I'm just, they was dealing with a con man or a con woman or both. These people was calling in the storm on somebody's finances, on somebody's love life. They didn't want a shift to take place because somebody got cut out. Who got cut out? Ace of Swords. Who got cut out? That warning sign. Judging a situation you never experienced. So somebody that was talking loud and saying nothing. They was possibly saying that, you know, soulmates don't exist. Twins don't exist. So, uh, this person is lying. Spell work ain't real or whatever. But this person been doing it. They do it in the dark. And look what's popping up there. Don't be mad at me because you didn't. Do the work, the on to bigger and better things. I feel like this person got left. This 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 queen of wands that think they so fine, they got left. Look, <laughs> somebody somebody gave somebody they asked to kiss. I'm just saying this is the will of fortune. <laughs> somebody at the bottom of the wheel here. Okay, they're going to have to walk that walk, not just talk that talk. 
They didn't want to take accountability. They didn't want to take responsibility. So back around the wheel they go. Let's see how they let, let's see how they make it this this go round. Somebody is very judgmental. You got things that are happening in your favor, King of Pentacles, because you left a situation. This is you at the top of this wheel. Somebody took accountability and responsibility. But why is this Knight of Pentacles here in reverse? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Somebody stubborn or they're pessimistic. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to like speak it into existence. Somebody needs to get that negative self-talk out of their head. This person may be doing candle magic to keep you in your head or to make you doubt yourself. For some of you, this person may be saying that you played out, you're too old or something like that. Yeah. Somebody wants somebody to be financially codependent on them. Somebody's like, yeah. They could be saying affirmations to, to stop somebody from moving forward. King of Pentacles. Oh, excuse me. I don't even know if that was the right. Just friends. Oh. <sighs> For some of you, this person... Uh, that left a situation, I'm getting a masculine energy left a situation, they may be finding out that this person slept with a friend or something like that. I'm hearing behind somebody's back. We got an inability to let go, binding. This is something that was a secret. Somebody tried to set somebody up with the lit card being here in reverse. Oh, they gained some clarity. They definitely did. Possibly in the dream state. Oh, they trying to work on the divine feminine here. Could be male or female. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> Somebody was trying to say that you get money in a legal way. Yeah. We got free of wares, i.e. shareware, illegal downloads, music, movies, nonprofit, law school, prototype, original. So for some of you, you may have did like a whole factory reset on your equipment. Yeah, something happened here. Something happened. Somebody, somebody's immature. They are not financially responsible or, or something, or this is what they wished on you. This person could have said that you were drug, uh, drug addict, or something, but that's not, that's not working. Like whatever they doing to try to stop your bag is not working. Let's see. Death card. Damn. Clear empath. Okay, so I, what I'm getting is you. You are stopping something. It's kind of like. Whatever they plan, you like 10, 20 steps, you possibly a mile ahead of this person. Because again, their crown shocker is brought. Uh, they may think that they're getting downloads, but it's some sort of deception here. I'm hearing transmutation. I'm just going to somebody could be a Scorpio reader or somebody went to somebody to have an unalive ritual done to them. OK, I done. I mean, done to you, but it, it may have went back on them. They it could they could have had something done to the person that they were with because we got all money ain't good money. Somebody was trying to end somebody's business opportunities. They didn't want this person to come in and, and, and speak nice to you and all of that. They, oh, no, they don't want that. You may have been seeing bird formations every time someone did some spell work. The 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 the, the na nature nature spirits was trying to warn you something was going on for some of you. When you see these crows, ravens, or these spirits, you you got to command them back to where they came from. They're definitely, look, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. I'm trying to tell you. This person wanted you to be depressed. 
I feel like they're the person that's depressed. We got law of world views. This flew all the way over there on my smudge stick. <laughs> Do you see how them spirits be telling? Look, law of world views. You create what you see. Somebody was using a book of secrets or a, a grimoire or whatever or something. They got some sort of old sorcery book. Didn't we see the book somebody was reading? I'm hearing something that somebody else left behind. So it could have been something that was passed down to this masculine or passed down to a feminine. Somebody could be in a business where they, you know, they may have been into some sort of sorcery. We got to wait for me trying to play catch up. Unfinished business. So somebody is, is going to come through and try to lie and say that somebody is into the same sex. For some of you, somebody is into the same sex, okay? Male or female, nine of wands. Nine of wands, why is this here? Somebody having, I knew it was going to come out. Somebody having nightmares. <laughs> now, you should look at this. This is a standoff, collective. Nine of wands, this is speaking about boundaries. Between this Queen of Swords and this Empress, somebody jealous. For some of you, this could actually be an ex-wife and a, a child's mother confrontation. For some of you, um, yeah. For some of you, this is that uh, an ex and a divine being, whether if it's a DM or a div um a divine masculine, I mean, a DM or a divine feminine. This is somebody's ex, somebody that's bitter. I know the Queen of Swords is not in reverse, but it don't need to be with this lineup with all these cards next to it. This person was working with three people. With three people, possibly a male and two females a group, a cult, or whatever, to try to attract, to attack this uh, empress, possibly attract this. Somebody could have paid someone to try to get at an empress, okay, or an emperor. Uh, for, if you're a male watching this, it was possibly two females that they sent in the past. I'm hearing in the DMs. Or there's going to be two females that they send going forward in the future, and you're going to have to pay attention. Like when 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 these people reach out to you, no matter if you're female or male, you might start seeing ravens and crows. That's gonna be a way to let you know that this is someone that is was sent like by some negative energy. Walk the walk. We got stressed, rep repressed feelings. We got somebody that operates out of their shadow side. Okay, subconscious. This is how this person's work. This person works. We got somebody that's numb. They don't they don't know why they, they they may sickly believe that they love this person, but it's not love, it's control. It's not love. Shit. I don't even think we got any. We got some yeah, we do over here. Somebody paid to have somebody come back. I'm hearing groveling. Groveling, they want somebody. They want somebody to be submissive. <laughs> this Queen of Wands, male or female, they want somebody to be submissive. Let's see. Why is warning here? Well, I just seen the poison card. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody is on Percocets, Molly Percocet, or whatever. What they, got, what they call it, blues, G's, I don't know. Somebody may be taking medication for illness. Or what, uh, I'm hearing that. Uh, damn, I, I can't think of it. Something to like hide, like to lower somebody's count, like whatever that is. Somebody could have HIV is what I'm getting. When somebody is addicted, okay, somebody may want to give you the he 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 how. This person may be on a spiral. They may do cocktails. Or they take prescription drugs and alcohol. 
and some this person has a parasite on them or somebody could be healing from like uh, a stomach issue or something. I don't know. I heard cirrhosis. Somebody may have wanted you to drink yourself to an oblivion, um, drink and drive or, or something like that. OK. For some of you, somebody may have been drinking and driving. And this was a warning to this person. Like, oh, we, I'm also getting somebody could have told somebody that their child's mother gave them a disease, but they really was sleeping with the same sex. And that's how they got it. We got an investor in rainforest destruction. Somebody may. Trees is significant. Somebody was trying to cut down somebody's lineage. Or some sort of information. We got aviation accidents. Somebody could be in the Air Force, military. This could be about a plane as well. So be mindful of that. So I don't good child. Somebody may find out. I hope they ain't going to work high. Trying to fly no damn plane. Look, corruption. Oh, man, come on. Why I got to get this? Some of you, you may stay in, uh, I'm here, industrial area, uh, area. Area. Some of you, you stay, or this person could be like a real estate investor. There could be like some condominiums, some townhomes or something like that that's getting, uh, mm, that's getting built in a rural area. I don't know why that that's going to resonate for someone, but we got some corruption here. Somebody was trying to cause a tuberkle. Somebody, I don't know why I heard a meeting of the minds. Somebody could be flying in. Somebody could be flying in to pay someone a dirty investment. Damn, somebody could be traveling and get some illegal substances and they may get pulled over and they may be DUI. Ooh, we hopefully we don't have no terrorist events. Ooh, look, I'm saying, hey, hey, listen, <laughs> look, I heard customs clearly. Ooh, I'm not even about to get into that deuces.